All right, we're finally recording. Just on our way into Dublin city centre, hoping to get onto O'Connell Street. It's March 17th, 2020. Currently in this kind of epidemic with coronavirus. I just thought it'd be an interesting way to go into the centre of town on a day that's usually hustling and bustling with tourists, even Irish people, in watching the parade, which I believe is the largest parade in Europe held every year. And even, I'd say, you know, the likes of New York, it's just a bit of an, an eerie, eerie day. There's still people out, traveling in their cars here. We're not on full lockdown as of quite yet. It's kind of a yellow, yellow warning, I would nearly say. I don't know what way to put it. You know, people are saying social distancing and what you're to do. But we're on the Suzuki GSX-R 250RR. This is my personal bike. And this is the bike that I, I own personally. Out of all the bikes that I've ridden, this is, this is the one that I want. It's a four cylinder 250 1989 bike with 4,700 kilometers on the clock. Stunning bike, really beautiful to ride. It would just be interesting to see what it's like when we get in there. I'm just curious to see if I'm gonna to get to O'Connell Street and it's just gonna be a bit of a war zone, ghost town even. But uh, I've seen quite a lot of cars coming in and out. It's not, I mean, usually at this stage you'd see a lot more. It's around two o'clock, it's around lunchtime. On a Tuesday, would usually be a lot more people coming in and out of the uh, city centre. Especially in the last few years where traffic has got a bit crazy. So yeah, I, 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 I just interested to see. I wanted to guess I wanted to record it really, I wanted to record uh, Dublin during this kind of coronavirus for the future for people looking down, you know, even five, ten years from now to have this kind of a footage it'd be interesting to look back on um, I'm sure it'll be the only time in my lifetime that uh, we'll have the St. Patrick's Day parade cancelled in such a fashion mm. lots of people unfortunately are losing their jobs on the civic person. Yeah, they're losing their jobs, particularly in the um, aviation industry where, uh, you know, flights have gone down by 80% at the minute. Although we can still see people in cafes here. Cafes are still open. You know, there's a phone shop that's still open today. No Brian's. Okay, well, I think that's a good spot to leave it and I'll catch you in about 15 minutes time. Okay, so we're just here on catching up, going up to St. Stephen's Green now. Looks like this guy ahead of me has the same idea to get out and about, have a look around in town, see what it's all about. Very interesting to see this area so quiet. I mean, there still are people. I'm surprised that there are still, you know, even this amount of people out at this stage. Um, Royal College of Surgeons here on my right and left hand side. Empty, no students, no nothing. Closed for the day. I'm gonna turn right here. Might go down Danger Street and uh, Georgia Street area. Have a look around. Yeah, we're just gonna be coming up to the end of Danger Street, start of Georgia Street, some may say. And we're just gonna cut down and hopefully get on to what would be O'Connell Street then and stop there. That's my main goal for today. Capital uh, Cocktail Lounge there. To the Ritz and Bob's, a famous George Gay Bar down at the end of the street now in Dublin. He's having a good go at it anyway on his uh, little GSXF. He does have the full gear on though, he does have the full leathers. Uh, so he's come out for more than what, what I have anyway. Turn right here. And a left here. Okay, so what I might do is I might just cut the recording here. And uh, I'll catch you in about 10 minutes time. Okay, so we've just come from Nassau Street and left hand side is the rear of Trinity College Dublin. So we're gonna be coming up on Connell Street pretty pretty soon. 
bike is holding up very nicely though. She's uh, behaved herself very well. Surprisingly easy to ride in these kind of areas. You know, we wouldn't really be thinking this is a kind of a you know 250 cc racer. You wouldn't really think it'd be that easy to ride around the streets. I mean, it's not the most comfortable. Certainly isn't wrists and uh, legs squeezing together tight the whole time. It does take a toll, but I'm young. I can take it. And a left turn here. Coming over to the dart station here on the right hand side. And the guards are out. I haven't seen too many guards though. You know, they have said that they are renting out 200, um, 200 more vehicles to kind of keep up with this epidemic that we're having. There's the dart. Pier Street, or Pier Station even, I should say. The bike is getting a bit hot though, so I think it's going to enjoy its um, rest at O'Connell Street because right now you know it's coming into the I'm keeping an eye on it I can feel the bike it's it's not it's only mid I mean it's not hot uh, but I mean it this kind of stop start traffic for it uh, isn't where it shines I'm just gonna come into this lane here O'Connell Street this being Westmoreland Street here off beat and that uh, casino at least is still open thank god you know when you want to be betting your money away in these kind of uncertain times you know make some money there we are bingo everything that's lovely go in there do uh, the roulette make a load of money in these uh, times <laughs> unusual if Lewis driver or something I did uh, we did actually give a bike away to the CB400 double S um, I opened up for him. We have some guards out here outside the GPO. Nice bit of music. Pretty empty. I would like to stop here. Uh, I might do up and around here kind of job. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna stop up here at the spire if I can. There's no one behind me. No. Might just get up here. Okay, so at this point, my uh, when I got back on the bike, I was, went into the center of uh, Connell Street there, and I took a few pictures and photos of the GSXR. And um, when I got back on the bike, the mic had some sort of failure, and I got the video footage, but the there's no there's no uh, no audio, so I thought I'd just do a, a voiceover and I'll show you a few of the pictures that I got. In the centre of O'Connell Street. So, if you're not from Ireland or you're not from Dublin, it might be so significant for Paddy's Day. I don't know what's the 17th of March, but this is the biggest parade that we have. You know, biggest in Europe, nearly. And here I am on a street that's usually filled with near 100,000 people, and it's completely uh, empty. I did get this picture, which is probably my personal favourite that I got, just outside the GPO, um, just kind of incredible to think about you know just how no one no one's there and how this virus has affected uh dublin and ireland in general so at this stage i'll probably ask you to like the video if you have enjoyed it uh, but also to leave a comment down below on how the pandemic which i said wrong twice is it epidemic pandemic has uh, affected your country whether you're in a, a higher tier of a lockdown or, or lower like England and the UK is at the moment. Um, and whether uh, it's having a positive effect, you think, or a negative effect, and uh, how long you, you believe this to go on. I think 
this is now two days after or a day after um i, I rode uh, rode the bike and it's somewhat calmed down i believe i think we're still getting we're in a growth period still but i feel you know there's n- uh, not as much panic there was there, than there was in the last four to five days yeah so just basically see, leave a comment down below on the uh, situation in your own country and finally um, if you could subscribe we're on 950 odd subscribers at this stage so if you could subscribe you know to get us just push up up, up above that 1000 would be uh, greatly appreciated <laughs>